Hi, I'm Paris, and today I'm not here to review a product unless I actually did win a free cruise trip to the Bahamas, in which case I'll be glad to review the trip and tell you all about it. Now, today I'm talking about this sort of thing you may get in the mail, the sort of thing that I've been getting phone calls about, emails about, you've won a cruise, you've won a trip, those sort of things. Does it ever really work out? Have you really won something? Well, since they actually sent me something in the mail from Royal Seas Cruises out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where they do cruising from, they actually spent money to send this to me. I thought I'm going to go through this with you and we'll see exactly what happens when you think you've won a great prize like this. First, I should probably tell you that I don't believe when people call and tell me they're giving me some great prize that that's actually what's going to happen. In fact, I never believe that. There's always something to it. So this could be absolutely legitimate. Next month, you'll see pictures of me on Instagram from the Bahamas, but I don't think so. Let's see, though. I'm very excited. It says, free Bahamas cruise for two enclosed and no strings attached. So that means there's no redemption fee, no condos you have to go sit through um, sales pitches for, nothing like that, right? No strings attached. These must be my tickets right here. So here it is, an actual boarding pass, except that under boarding pass it says cruise redemption voucher, and you can see it's got marks on it and highlights and check marks and initials. Just like a travel agent might mark up a document like this. And if you're saying, what's a travel agent? Well, that means you're a younger person. And I'm afraid that this is actually aimed at older people who actually remember what travel agents are. That used to be the only way you could get tickets on a cruise, tickets on an airline. But anyway, not a history lesson today. It's just who I think they're uh, targeting with this. It also says from Austin, Texas, stopping in ports in Florida and the Bahamas. Now that's quite a trick since Austin is 150 miles from the Gulf of Mexico. I can't wait to see a cruise ship pull up downtown. Now the next page, I will give them credit for this. Now, too bad they couldn't have used a real one, but what is this purple page? Again, people my age know it's supposed to be carbon paper because here's your duplicate of your front page via this carbon paper. And I thought, well, that's cool. I haven't seen carbon paper in a long time, but I tried to scratch on it, write on it. Nothing came through onto the next page. So it's just a purple piece of paper. But again, targeted at people of a certain age. And on the next page, you learn, this is good for two. You get to bring someone with you. Could it get any better? And then information about the ship. They have a spa. They have fancy restaurants, entertainment, and so forth. How could this get even better? Well, the next page is $1,300 you get to spend on the cruise. However, this is not a check. It's a travel savings voucher. What exactly is that? And then here, oh yes, look at the wonderful things you can see. There's swimming with dolphins and all of that. And um, they're going to give you a rental car. You can get additional trips. Oh, could it be any better? Well, let's go back to the first page that you skipped here, the back of it, because you saw the carbon paper. But over here, can you read it? Can you read it now? Let me read some of this to you. Even though it says no strings attached, I have a feeling that in this small print might be where the strings are located. Okay, so we are going to get a um, free round trip, grand celebration cruise with meals and entertainment included to and from the Bahamas with no purchase necessary. Okay, now as for how long the cruise is, we'll get to that in a bit, but... Um, you will have uh, two nights in South Florida, two nights in Orlando, an economy rental car for seven days, blah, 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 available at a tremendous savings. And here we get to the crux of it. Royal Seas Cruises markets and is responsible for quality travel packages to promote specific hotels and resorts in Orlando and Fort Lauderdale. And in return, requires the attendance at a presentation on the sale of independent vacation ownership can you say timeshare, such as Vacation Village at Bonaventure and Vacation Village at Parkway? This is more than string theory. These are real strings. In addition here, they have some of this in big print. Um, one thing, Illinois residents, no tour is required. Wisconsin, if you're in Wisconsin, you should read this part. If you're in other states, you don't have to read this. This advertising material is being used for the purpose of soliciting the sale of real estate or interest in real property. 
This project is registered with the New Jersey Real Estate Commission. And here at the very bottom, slightly bigger than the mice type, it says, This advertising material is being used for the purpose of soliciting sales. So we figured out what at least some of the strings are. When you call the number, you may find there are a few more. But here's what you get if you're thinking, well, that might not be too bad a deal. A couple thousand dollar cruise, the money they give you to spend on the cruise, it could be worthwhile. So what do you get? What kind of cruise is this? Well, it's a two-night Bahamas cruise with all meals, live entertainment, and activities included. So two nights, hmm... So if they were to leave at, say, 3 o'clock in the afternoon and sail to the Bahamas, that would be one night. And then the second night would be the next afternoon when they sailed back, wouldn't it? I'm thinking. The next bullet point says, fun day in port to enjoy the beaches or shop the duty-free marketplaces. So it sounds like this cruise, they take you to the Bahamas overnight. You get to spend uh, part of a day there, and then they bring you back. The next night at sea, and then the next morning you're back in Florida. Now I'm thinking more than a $2,000 cruise, that might be more like one of those $299 cruises. Also you get um, two night stay in this particular luxury resort, and another two night stay in a different part of Florida in their luxury resort, and also a rental car. So as I understand it, you can drive yourself between these different places where I assume they're going to be giving you their presentation on buying the timeshares or vacation condos, whatever it is exactly. So they don't even have to fly you between places or even put you on a bus. They give you a rental car and tell you to drive yourself between them. But wait, there's more. The first 50 participants also get these giveaways. Three days and two nights in exciting Las Vegas, Nevada. Four days and three nights in Romantic, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And what's the chance that they probably have some real estate property there too? So that's the story on the Royal Seas Cruises that you may have already won. You might have one of these waiting in your mailbox today. So if you decide to take them up on their offer of that two nights, one day in port cruise, that's the other side of it. You will have to go to those presentations where they will encourage you to buy some vacation property. Now, I don't know if you know Clark Howard again. Maybe it's just older folks who listen to him, but he for a long time had a radio program. I think he does a short segment on Headline News or CNN where he talks about ways to not get ripped off, best ways to make your money stretch and last longer, good value and things and so forth. And I remember listening to one of his radio programs where he talked about going to these sessions where they tell you all about the great deal of getting a timeshare or something like that. And he said the only time you should ever consider going to one of those sale pitch presentations is if you've been skiing and you happen to have two broken arms, both arms are in a cast, and there is no way you can sign any documents. I expect Clark Howard would say, if you want to go on a $299 cruise, well, go book yourself a $299 cruise, pay for it, and enjoy yourself on it, and not have to worry about all the high-pressure tactics and all the other things that you might not be clear on with this kind of a presentation. But if you're interested, and if you receive in the mail, at least now you know what the story is. I'll be back soon with more videos. You can keep checking back for those, or you can click that subscribe button down below. It will not offer you a cruise. Instead, you'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.